If you watched my last video, I showed you how to make an easy LM386 audio amplifier. Uh, this time I want to show you how to make the, the first step of making an optical tremolo effect pedal for guitar. Uh, first thing you have to do to make an optical tremolo is to make a flashing light circuit. We're going to do that using uh, two of these uh, NPN transistors. These are uh, MPSA 13 is actually what I used. Um, you can also use a 2N3904 or probably just about any NPN transistor. Now your uh, transistor has a emitter, a base, and a collector. And uh, if you're looking at if you're looking at it, uh, you can see it has a flat side and a round side. Um, if you're holding with the flat side facing you, uh, that's uh, how the pins are arranged. Uh, so you've got the emitter there on your left if you're looking at it like that. So I've got two of these MPSA-13 transistors. Look at our schematic here. Uh, these uh, circles here represent our transistors. The uh, uh, side with the arrow, those are the emitters. And you'll notice both of the emitters just connect together and uh, from one side you can connect to ground. So that's the first thing we'll do. Next, uh, from the middle, we've got our base, and then out here we have our collector, uh, just opposite of our emitter. So coming out from the base, uh, this you, uh, you can see this is kind of humped over there. That means that this is not connected to this line that's crossing. So from your base, uh, it goes over to a 0.1 UF capacitor, and from that 0.1 UF capacitor, it goes to the collector of your other transistor. So uh, it does the same thing on both sides. So I've got my 0.1 UF capacitor. I'll go from the collector on this one to the base on this one. Oops. Then I'll just uh, do the same with the other side, from the collector over here to the base. And so we've got that connected uh, from the base to the collector, and the same on the other side. Directly connected to the collector also is the 10K resistor. On each side next directly connected to the base and it is directly connected you'll see uh, that it uh, goes to this capacitor and to this resistor at the same time we've got our 3.3 m resistor now uh, I'm using a 3.3 meg uh, depending on how fast you want your flashing light to go uh, you can use anywhere from a 1 meg to a 10 meg um, 1 meg uh, would give you the fastest speed whereas a 10 meg would give you the slowest you could probably go less than one meg if you wanted to go even faster okay so where was i uh so directly to our base we've got our 3.3 meg resistor and actually that's going to run 
straight to our nine volts. You'll notice our other uh, 10K resistors did not run directly to nine volts. We still have an LED to put between there. So nine volts directly to our base. Now on your uh, on your LEDs, you have a long side and a short side, and you can see this one right here. Uh, the bent side is obviously uh, longer because it uh, sticks out just as far as the straight side. Uh, the long side is going to be your positive, and uh, you want to put your positive on the positive of the battery with the uh, negative of your LED going into your resistor. This one uh, it's a little bit harder, a little less di uh, length difference there, but you can still tell that uh, this side is the positive. Now, you'll notice my lights have started flashing back and forth. So we have a flashing light. This is how we're going to achieve our tremolo effect, is we're going to take this uh, photoresistor and we're going to butt it up against one of these LEDs shrink wrap it up against it so it won't move and uh, your signal is going to run uh, through this photoresistor and that's going to cause the tremolo effect but now what we need to do though is we need to be able to control the speed and uh, that's where this uh, 20k variable resistor we're using a 20k potentiometer Now, you still have uh, your wire directly to ground going to your collector here, or to your emitter, I mean. <clears throat> now, your wire that jumps across, the wire that goes in between the two emitters, you want to take that and unhook it, and then you want to hook that to either the wiper or the left pin, either one, it doesn't matter. And then you want to take the other one that you, either the wiper or the left pin, whichever one you didn't use, uh, and plug it in here. And then plug that where your blue wire was originally. And now we have a controllable speed. We can turn it up this way, and it'll go faster. We can turn it down this way, and it'll go slower. So that's how you make a flashing light circuit with a variable speed. Next time, uh, maybe we'll try to get this uh, photoresistor hooked up with our input and output and plug a guitar in and uh, check out the tremolo sound that we can make. Thanks for watching.